Hey there, I'm Tesla and I'm back with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we're going to emulate some zoomable binoculars and we're going to do this by using Timeline within the Character Blueprint. So let's begin. So to begin with, we will open up our Character Blueprint, which is just here. And we'll start by right-clicking and we want to just uh, we want to use a key to use our binoculars. So we're going to just use B here and we're going to drag it pressed out type in flip-flop to activate and then deactivate the binoculars and now we're going to add a timeline so we're going to right click add timeline and let's just name this zoom so this is going to control the zoom length of our binoculars so we can open this up and we're going to add a float track so we're just going to uh, click this little F plus icon and we can just name this zoom Okay, so to add a keyframe, we're just going to use left shift and click near the zero. And uh, the field of view is for the camera is usually set to 90. So if we select this, we can just put change this to 90. And if you haven't got it set to zero there, just make sure you do this. That just means it's going to start at zero. And now we're going to come to the end. Ooh, sorry, we're going to change the length to one second as well. You can make it as long as you would like, but. Now we'll come to the end, left shift and click again, and you can see it's 998, we're going to change this to 1, and we're going to change this to 25. So that's how much the, that's going to be our field of view, zooming into 25. Okay, so we're done here, we can close this, and we can drag A to play, and B to reverse. So every time we press it, it's going to uh, zoom in and zoom out, no matter where about it is in that timeline. And now we can just drag Oh, we need to create a camera in our character blueprint, so we'll just come to components, add component, come to sorry, camera there. And we'll just move that up. And you can see the initial field of view here. So if you want it if you've set it to something else, just make sure you update it in the timeline because I've set it to 90 and now we'll just drag the camera out here we're going to click set so we're going to click get drag out and just type in set field of view and now we can connect the zoom to the field of view and click connect update to set click compile jump in and now we have our zoom binoculars Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for checking it out and make sure you stay subscribed for any of my future tutorials. Cheers guys!